Auditing your firewall is a major task that you need to do from time to time. Now, there are companies that release tools that will allow you to audit your firewall, but here is the 10 best practices that you can start with. The following best practices are not in a specific order, so just use them as you wish. Now, another thing, I'm showing it on a 40 git firewall, but you can also do it on a checkpoint firewall, on a Palo Alto firewall, any next generation firewall. Quite obvious, but we do it on any device, any servers that we have on our organization. Be sure that your firmware is up to date. Always use the latest firmware. Usually the latest firmwares are much more secure. Your firewall vendor will always make sure that you have the latest patches on the latest firmware. So back up your configuration, look at the release path, and update your firmware. Encryption and high encryption is fundamental in your firewall. So be sure that you always use the strongest algorithms. Now it's not always possible, but assuming that the other side also supports the strongest algorithms, just find out the appropriate CLI command on your firewall and enable it. So in a 48 firewall, it is config system global. Now it may change from firmware to firmware. Set crypto strong and just be sure to enable it. Always make sure that your administrator is connecting to your 48 through a trusted host, that is a trusted IP address as the IP address at its home or in the office. Now, you can do it using the graphical user interface, you can do it using the CLI. Let's do it using the CLI, config system admin. Let's edit the admin and from here set trusted host and just write down the trusted IP address. If possible, on your WAN interface, your external facing interface, don't allow any administrative management. So let's just use the config system interface, edit port one, which is my internet facing interface and unset allow access. On your LAN interface administrative access, try always to use HTTPS and SSH, that is HTTPS to the graphical user interface and SSH to the command line. Now try to avoid ping and try to avoid other protocols unless needed. The following is probably one of the first audits that you need to do. Look for unused rules, rules that were asked time ago and configured on your firewall. Look for them and if they're not relevant anymore, just delete them. Now, a side note, document any rule that is asked. Document who asked the specific rule and the time that it was configured. Your administrator should always log into your 48 or any other firewall using HTTPS. So be sure that even if it tries to do it over HTTP, your firewall will redirect the request over HTTPS. So let's do it here config system global, set admin HTTPS redirect. Another setting that you should be aware of is the admin lockout and the admin lockout duration. Now that should comply with your organization policy. Config system global, 
and now let's set the admin you can set the admin lockout duration the default is 60 seconds but, but you can set it to five minutes or more that should comply to your organization policy now another setting is the threshold itself that is the lockout threshold is actually the number of failed attempts the number of failed attempts when your admin tries to log into the system the default is three and it is a best practice to keep it at three logs should be part of your auditing that is when you audit a firewall be sure that logs are there for at least seven days now look at the proper documentation of your firewall let's just do it here config log disk setting set maximum age now you can set it to seven days you can also set it to 30 days it depends a lot where you save the logs either on your hard disk or towards a syslog or any other device that has a proper storage at last let's look at some more um, best practices to hardening your firewall uh, one of them is when you have unused interfaces disable them disable them if you have interfaces that you uh, want to disable different protocol so just disable them using config system interface edit the interface that you want to disable and there you can unset DHCP relay services you can unset PPTP client ARP forwarding and so on um, another thing that is uh, quite common to any 48 out there and that is something that I'm not familiar with other firewalls uh, which have maybe yes or no the same functionality is what is known as the maintainer account the maintainer account is actually a backdoor to your FortiGate if your admin has lost its password then it allows you to actually uh, boot into your FortiGate using what is known as the maintainer account which is actually the serial number of your FortiGate with the maintainer user so you can actually disable it in most 40 gates i believe that is it is enabled by default set admin maintainer account disable 